Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How are you doing today? How was your day? So, so. So, so. Why so, so? Did you work a lot? Yes. How many hours? Eight? Or more than eight? ¿Cuántas horas? Did you work? Um, eight. Eight, eight hours, okay. Welcome everyone, welcome Manuel, welcome Isabel, Judith, Sandra, Brenda, Natalie, Karen. Welcome to this class. This is the class number seven. Today is um, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday uh, June the 7th, 2023. Um, thank you so much for being on time, everyone. So can you see my screen? Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Si ven mi pantalla. Color. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. So for today, the lesson objective that we have. Well, we have an agenda. The lesson, the first is the lesson objective, and then how to use imperatives, um, written practice and conversation practice, okay? Uh, at the end of this class, you will be able to use imperatives in a conversation. Okay. So to introduce the imperatives, I have this uh, activity. The okay, imperatives are the phrases that we normally use uh, to give orders or commands, okay? Cuando damos órdenes a alguien. So you don't say, uh, please do this, or uh, you don't say the name, just to say the phrase. For example, open your book. That is an imperative phrase. Uh, what will be the correct uh, picture for that? Open your book. Letter B. Letter B. Okay. B. Close your book. C. Letter C. Letter C. Okay. If someone give you this kind of phrases, it's just using if we're talking about grammar. Okay, turn off the light. Front line, letter B. Letter B. Turn off the light. Uh, letter A. 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 Letter A. 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 Put it down. Letter B. Sit down. Stand up. Stay. Open the window. Close the door. Let it be. Don't take photos. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. Okay. Come here. Letter D. 
letter D. Don't smoke. Letter C. Letter C. Don't eat or drink here. Don't. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise. Letter B. B. Letter B. Don't run. Letter D. Letter D. Letter D. Don't run. Do your homework. Letter B. Letter D. Letter D. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Good job. So, all these phrases that you can say someone or someone can tell you in this way are the imperatives. Okay. So, if someone gives you this, uh, these commands, they are using imperatives. Okay, who wants to read all of them? Raise your hand. I use the one here. Raise your hand. Who wants to read that? ¿Quién lo quiere leer? Okay. Okay. Go ahead, Manuel. Open your book. Open your book. Turn on the light. Turn off the light. Down. Down. Stand up. Mm -hmm. Open the window. Lock the doors. Don't tape. Put here. here. Come here. Come here. Here. Okay, what is the what is the music? I don't know. Is is in your uh, house? Woman? Teacher, my vecino creo que so. Okay, turn off your microphone, okay. Evelyn, please. Okay. Just for a moment. Thank you. Uh huh. Manuel. Close the door. Close the door. Uh huh. Don't take photos. Don't take photos. Photos. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't smoke. Mm -hmm. Don't eat or drink air. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Don't run. Don't run. Do your homework. Work. Do you do your homework? Okay, very good. Very good job. Okay, have you seen before this these signs? No. Mm -hmm. In different places, right? We can see this. Don't smoke. Don't take pictures or photos. Close the door. Um, yes. These are like the commons, common commands or orders, right? That, that, that we can see. And they are imperatives. Okay, very good job. We bien. Okay, then we have a conversation. 
we have a conversation using uh these commands. Who wants to read that? I need two volunteers. Marcia and Luke. I need two volunteers. Mm -hmm. Raise your hands. Thank you, Roberto. Someone else? Who wants to participate with Robert? What? Who wants to participate with Robert? Um, um, ¿Quién quiere trabajar con Robert? Who did? Uh -huh. Judith. Judith. Okay, Judith, are you ready? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, you will be Marcia, Judith. Go ahead. Okay. Please send this a pack. Package. Package. Yes, my um. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes, please. Greet a uh, memory about the new day for the general meet meeting. Please meet. write. Please write a memo. A memo. Mm -hmm. About the new day for the general meeting. Okay. Right that way. Give me one of those memo sticker plates, please. Sure. Here you go on and look. Please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Please supervise the new interns. Okay. Very good. As you can see here, we have like different commands, like a, write a memo, uh -huh. write a memo about the new date. Uh, give me one of those memos, stickers, okay? Send this package. Uh -huh. And also supervise the, the new interest. Okay, we have like a, this kind of... Uh, imperatives in this conversation. Who else wants to try it? Volunteers? Okay, Natalie. Who else wants to try with Natalie? Mm -hmm. Who wants to try with Natalie? Uh, Manel? Manuel? Okay, Manuel. <laughs> you will be look, Manuel, and Natalie Marcia. Go ahead. Okay. Please send on this package. Yes, Mas I am do you need I need healthy. Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right, I was with me one of the memo sticker, please. ¿Cómo se dice eso, teacher? Sure. Sure. Here you go for and look. Please super super supervise supervise the new intents interest interest absolute como se dice así se dice absolutely absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay sure okay. here Okay, la H es, en este caso se pronuncia como J, here. 
Here you go. Sure, here you go. Okay? Okay. Okay. Very good job. Thank you so much. Do you have questions about this? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. 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 Me. Seguro. Por supuesto. Uh -huh. Uh, mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Right away. Right away es como ahorita, ahorita, ya voy. Uh -huh. Teacher, ya yeah. contra, y esa contracción donde dice yes, ¿era un nombre o un pronombre cuando se iba a referir a ma, am? Ma'am. Ok, mm -hmm. eh, eso se, se refiere a, a una dama, polite, ok, educadamente, ok. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. La palabra dos, donde dice of dos memo. Dos memo. Eh, se refiere a en plural, a, a, a varios. Uh -huh. O sea, dos memos, es like a, no es solo uno, son con más de uno, ¿ok? okay. Entonces, si fuera solo uno, sería la palabra this. This, Memo, ajá. Uh -huh. This, Memo. Uh -huh. What else? No more? No more. No more observations or questions? Okay. Let me take the attendance in this moment. ¿Qué vas a tomar, yo? ¿Gracias a un café? Café, por favor. Costa. Laura. Ok. Uh, please turn off your microphone if you have noise in your house, ok? Hay de... Hi there. Sí. Ok. Uh, Brenda. Brenda Elizabeth me dijo que iba a estar de oyente. Ya llegué, teacher. Ya estoy aquí. Ah, ok. Thank you. Selena Janet. Presente. Diana Carolina. Diana Carolina. Please mute, mute. Y si tiene la tele encendida o la radio, mute, please. Creo que fue alguien que, que, que no me escucha. Vamos a ver. Yo lo voy a tener que poner en mute. Uh, Diana Carolina. ¿No está Diana? Ok. Uh, Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Griselda. Ok, Griselda está de oyente. Isabel Rocío. Present. Thank you. Karen Patricia. Si está Lilian Elizabeth Cuello. Present teacher, Karen Patricia. Thank you, Karen. Luis Américo, no está. Manuel. Present okay. teacher. Teacher, yo estoy. Oh, Manuel. Welcome, teacher. Welcome back. 
Américo. Me ha, me ha Américo. Que ven por acá encontramos lo que yes. es un restaurante ¿Eh? de comida tailandesa yes. que ya vamos a venir a okay. conocer. Thank Otro evento por aquí. Thank por you. Aquí. Ok. Uh, Natalie, Marilyn. Present teacher. Thank you, Natalie. Oscar Eliseo. Oscar Eliseo. No. Uh, no. Roberto Antonio. Oh. Thank you, Roberto. Sandra Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Verónica Guadalupe. Wendy Judith. Present teacher. Yamara Estadio Oyente. And Yanira Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you, Janira. Okay, Diana Carolina. No, right. Okay, vamos a ver si está más tarde. Well, thank you so much for your attendance, the ones that are here. Okay, now we're going to categorize if that is positive or is negative. Okay, we have more imperatives here. Um. Okay, don't sit down. Is that positive or negative? Negative. Negative, okay. Stay there. Positive. 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 Be quiet. Positive. 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 Don't sit on the table. Negative. 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 Don't touch. Negative. 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 Open the door. Positive. 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 Don't talk. Negative. 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 Stand up. Positive. Be nice. Positive. Positive. <coughs> look at your look at your book. Positive. 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 Wait. Positive. Positive. Don't be silly. Negative. 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 Hurry up. And positive. positive. Okay, let me check the answers. Okay, <clears throat> very good. All of them are good. Okay. <laughs> Who wants to pronounce all of them? ¿Quién la quiere pronunciar? <clears throat> Or questions that you may have? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? ¿Qué significa wait? Wait. Wait. Espera. Okay. El verbo esperar, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Espera. Espera. Uh -huh. And silly. Silly is like a tonto. Don't be silly. Bobo. Oh. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál era, dijo? Ok. Someone who wants to, to pronounce all of them? Yeah. Selena, do you want to do it? Gabriel. Hello? Hola. Selena? Okay. Do you have the microphone open? Do you want to pronounce all of the statements that we have here, the imperatives? Try. Quiere que se las pronuncie. Yes, please. Uh -huh. um, hard up. Positive. Hurry, hurry up. Hurry up. Uh -huh. Be nice. 
Es... Stay, stay here. Stay there. Stay there. Wait. 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 Look at your book. Book. Look at your look at it's your up book. Stand up. Stand up. Open the door. Mm -hmm. Be key. quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Negative también. Yes. Don't talk. Don't talk. No mencionamos la L, ¿ok? Don't talk. Don't talk. Don't say do. do. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Don't touch. 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 Don't say on the table. Don't sit sit on the table. Not don't sit on the table. Don't sit on the table. Don't um, be still. silly. 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 Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Uh huh. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Who else wants to practice? Okay. Mm -hmm. Who else wants to practice? Okay. Mm -hmm. Manuel, give me a letter. What, teacher? Give me a letter. <laughs> Dígame una letra. Give me a letter. Dígame una letra. Una letra, nada más. Give me a letter. Yes, pa, usted dígame una letra a mí. Dígame. La K. Letter K. Okay, let me see which name has letter K. Karen. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Karen. <laughs> Sorry? Estoy cenando, teacher. <laughs> okay, ¿cómo es el bocadito que tiene? Y luego me dice estas. Me las repite, okay? We are going La primera. To... all of them. Number one. Solo las positivas, todas. Yes, all of them, positive and negative. Positive. Hurry up. Be nice. Stay there. Wait. Look at for at your book. Stand up. Open the door. Be quiet. Negative. Don't talk. Don't sit down. Don't touch. Don't sit on the table. Don't be silly. Okay, very good. Don't talk. Aquí no mencionamos la L. Solo es la observación. Then everything is good. Very good, Karen. Okay. And enjoy your, your dinner, okay? Disfrute su, su cena. Ok. Who else? Thank you, teacher. Ok. Who else wants to practice? I just I want to check your pronunciation. Ok. Mm -hmm. No one? Questions? Ok. Maybe later on you're going to use these uh, um, imperatives. So take note. Okay, or take a picture. Okay, we're going to continue.
Okay, we have here an exercise. Starts. We have like a words, like a phrases, but we're going to use imperatives with these verbs that we have here. Okay, for example, to go upstairs. Mm -hmm. How will be the, the phrase? How will be the complete phrase here? In the lake. Here we have not to swim. Ah, that means don't swim. Don't swim in this lake. Don't swim in this lake. Mm -hmm. That is the that is the phrase. Okay, that is imperative. Your homework. Do to do. How will be here? I want that you read all of them and tell me uh, how we're going to make the imperatives. So I, I give you one, let me give you this positive. Go, go upstairs. Don't swim in the lake, okay? I give you two examples. Now I want that you give me the other, exam the other uh, imperatives. Okay, Sandra, you will be number three. Tell me the number three. Uh, your dozen do only that do your homework do your homework mm -hmm. only that you don't need to add positivo or negativo this is positive si no tiene el not aquí ah es negativo entonces es do you home do your homework. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. Thank you, Bre Sandra. Brenda, number four. Don't know. Don't know. Play football in the yard. Do not play football in the yard. Okay, good. Or don't play. Uh -huh. Puedes usar... Uh... I don't play. Don't play or do not play. Both of them are okay. Okay. Aide, number five. Hola. Number five. How will be this one? Positivo, teacher. Yes. It doesn't have the 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 not here. And um, do do you do your brush did. Okay, just brush, brush your teeth. No le agregamos nada más, okay? Only brush your teeth. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about number six, Evelyn? To talk during the late, I negative, no. No. So, Don't talk. Don't talk. Remember, no la L no No, talk. Don't talk during the lesson. During the lesson. Mm -hmm. During the lesson. Or, mm -hmm. Means during the class, right? During the class, during the English class. Don't talk during the lesson, okay? Okay. okay. Manuel? Don't feed. Don't feed the animals in the zoo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Así dice a veces, no alimente los animales porque les dan otro tipo de comida, mm -hmm. right? Que ellos no deben comer. That is why they have that. Don't feed the animals in the zoo. Okay. Isabel, okay. number eight. Right. Read the, the instruction. Read the instructions. Mm -hmm. We usually have that in the in the exams, right? That says read the instructions. Okay. Janita? 
Not la de for you, la lady for you, for, no, for school. <laughs> Don. Don't be late. Late for school. Mm, ya tiene ahí, a late. Don't be late for school. Okay. Don't put the animal in this stuff. Mm -hmm. Robert. Yes. No, okay. Number 10, Robert. Switch. Okay. Switch off your mobile. Switch. Switch off your mobile. Switch off your mobile. Mm -hmm. Apply in sus teléfonos. Right. Switch. Mobile off. or mobile? Mobile, mobiles. Let, let me double check. Mobile is when it's uh just one that is a mobile. But let me see plural mobiles. I think that is mobiles, but let me double check. Mobiles. Mobiles. Sorry, there is a advertisement. Es un anuncio. Mobile or in Alabama, mobile. Mm. Mobiles, mobiles, mobiles. Mobile or in Alabama. Mm -hmm. Mobile. Mobile. Right. Okay. Mobile. Good. Let me check. Let me check. Don't feed the animals in the sun. Don't feed the animals in the sun. Creo que mi apóstrofe está inco eh, incorrecto, por eso me lo di incorrecto, pero... It is the same, if you see. Es por el apóstrofe que me lo di incorrecto, ¿ok? Go okay. upstairs. Don't swim in, the, in this lake. Do, no, do your homework. Don't... El apóstrofe está al contrario. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, eso es lo que pasa. Lo, el que no le pusimos apóstrofe se lo reconoció bien. Do not play football in the yard. Brush your teeth. Don't talk during the lesson. Don't feed the animals in the zoo. Read the instructions. Don't be late for school. Switch off your mobiles. Okay. Very good. Do you have questions? About this. Vocabulary. Questions about vocabulary here. Let me send a link to you. If you want to practice. Who's trying to gain? Significa eso, teacher? Which one? Number? Number one. Oh, go upstairs. I uh, means uh, gradas, pero si usted sube, okay? Si baja es down, <coughs> downstairs. Gradas. Uh -huh. Gradas, pero si sube, upstairs. Si baja son downstairs. Upstairs, okay. Okay, let me send the link if you want to practice later on. Mm. There you have it. Another question that you may have about these sentences? No? Okay, so we're going to continue.
I have another exercise here. Instructions fill in the gaps with the correct verse from the line below. We have lock, turn on, wash, go, be, bring, drinks, open, and turn off. Okay, vamos a, a llenar todos los espacios que están en blanco con esos verbos de arriba. Luego, instructions here, we're going to match the first column. Esta es la primera columna que tiene las letras. To the second one, con esta otra. Okay, I'm going to ask uh, one by one. Si ¿Sí ven la letra? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Brenda. Okay. Hello, Anna. You will be the first one. The first one, Brenda. Hello, Anna. I have to go now. Here are the keys for the house. Do not open. Oh. Do not. Do not. Do not open. Do not open the door to anybody, please. You can. Uh huh. I bet you can watch, watch TV. TV until late if you wish. But remember to go, go, go. to go. Vean que hay después all the line. All the line. Uh, ¿Qué sería? Turn off, apagar, turn off the light, and turn on the alarm before you, before you go, before you go to bed. Make sure my son Todd is I slept before you. Look. Mm -hmm. Go. Go. You go to bed. Before you go to bed. And? The doors. Lock the door. Lock the house. Mm -hmm. oh. We will. We will. Bring. Bring. What? We will be. Vamos a regresar. Vamos a estar de regreso. We will, we will be back be. by two in the morning. Ah, and I forgot. Dot meal is inside the refrigerator in a small bottle. He always drinks. Drinks. Drink. Drinks. Drink it before Colin is asleep. Sure. Mm -hmm. B. Be a good girl, girl and don't bring, don't bring, no traigas any people in the house. I will see you at two. Debería las dos. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to match the the phrases that we have in the column, the first column to the second one. Don't accept. Mm -hmm. Candies. 
from strangers. Uh-huh. Stranger. Uh -huh. Stranger. Okay. I gave you that one. Okay, number two, letter B. Brush your teeth. Then you go. Uh, be before mm -hmm. you go to bed. Mm -hmm. Before you go bed. Turn off the light. When when you go to the... when you go to bed and save energy. Energy. Uh huh. Don step on the lamp. On the lamp. Bring your dictionaries. For language. For language. language. Mm -hmm. For language art class. Don't open. The door to my. The door to my. Don't watch. Adult program. Adult program. Adult programs. Adult programs. Don't forget. To, to bring the, to, the, to bring the, the CDs. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Send him. You got a pen. Next <laughs> Very good. Okay. Did you like it? Okay. What did you learn here? ¿Qué aprendieron aquí? Or do you have new vocabulary? Do you have questions about this? Palabras nuevas. Okay. For example, which word? Um, turn off. Turn, turn off. on. Turn on. Okay. Now you can say someone in your house. Turn off the light. Turn on the light. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Who wants to read the paragraph? Volunteers that want to read the paragraph? I'm going to read it for you first, okay? And then, then someone can do it. Hello, Anna. I have to go now. Here are the keys for the house. Do not open the door to anybody, please. You can watch TV until night, until late, if you wish. But remember to turn off all the lights and turn on the alarm before you go to bed. Make sure my son Todd is asleep before you go to bed. And lock the doors. We will be back by two in the morning. Ah, and I forgot Todd's milk is inside the refrigerator in a small bottle. He always drinks drinks it before falling asleep. Be a good girl and don't bring any people in the house. I will see you at two. Mm -hmm. Someone that wants to read that? That can want to be a volunteer? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, give me a number, Evelyn, from one to, to 20. Okay. Que lea. Give me a number, then we'll know. Ah. Give me a number from one to 20. The number five. Number five. No está la persona. Give me another number. The number eight. 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 Isabel Rocío. 
Yeah, okay, please read the, the paragraph from here, from hello, Anna, until I uh, will see you at two. Hello, Anna. I have to go now. Here, there are the gates for the house. Do not open the door to anybody, please. You can watch TV. Play if you win. Would remember to 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 off will be light and to on the alarm before you go to bed. May to sure my son my son. Stop is asleep before you go to bed and lock the door. We will be back the two in the morning um, and I forget, forgot stop. Milk is inside the refrigerator in a small bottle. He always drinks it before falling asleep. Be I I go I go grill and don't bring any people in the house. I will see you up too. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Yay. Just try to repeat uh, keys. Okay, here are the keys. Also, drinks. Drinks. Also, drink. drink. Drinks. Uh -huh. Drinks. Hay que mencionar la letra S there. And girls. Dreams. Okay. Like, be a good girl. Girls. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, yes, we need to improve a little bit, but uh, it's okay. We are learning. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Isabel, give me another number from, from 1 to 20. Mm, number 3. Number 3. Brenda. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay. Go ahead, Brenda. Hello, Anna. I had to do I had to go now. Here are the case for the house. Do not open the door to any body place. You can watch the be until late if you wish, but remember to turn off all, all the lights and turn on the iron before you go to bed. Make sure my son thought is asleep before you go to bed and look the doors we will be back the doors we will be back by two in the morning um and i forgot that is meal in is inside 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 is inside the refrigerator it's a small bottle. He always drinks it before following asleep. Be a good care and don't bring any people in the house. 
I will see you up too. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, and lock, lock the doors, okay? And lock. Mm -hmm. lock. Inside the refrigerator. Inside the refrigerator. Ref refrigerator. Refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Refrigerator. Okay, very good. Was good, thank you. Okay, new words. Who has new words here? Can you have a palabra? A ver. Asleep. 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 Es dormido. I say, uh, make sure, they say, make sure my son Todd is asleep before you go to bed. Asegúrate que ya esté dormido. ¿Cómo se pronuncia bueno, todo? todo. O sea, que es Todd. Uh -huh. Es el nombre del niño, Todd. Ah, uh, Todd. Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Sleep. Sleep es, es el verbo, ok. Oh. Sleep. Pero en este caso es el adjetivo. Asleep. As Asleep. 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 Y solo el verbo. Sleep. 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 Y es lo que hacemos es que le agregamos la A antes para que diga dormido, ¿ok? Sleep. 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 Uh -huh. Ok. Okay, any other? Fall asleep. That is asleep before fall you fall asleep. Before you fall asleep, before you be, te duermas, okay? Fall asleep viene de fall de, de acostarse eh, y, y luego dormirse, okay? Fall in sleep, te vayas a acostar y te duermes. Donde dice open the door to any body sleep, te dice bot o booty. La primera línea. Do not open the door. Do not open the door to anybody, body, please. Anybody. Means like a, a, como un humano, ¿ok? Puede ser cualquier persona, cualquier persona, uh, anybody. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Other question you may have? No. no? Okay, let me send this link to you if you want to to, to review that. Okay, when you have time, try to, to review it, okay? Okay, now we're going to do an exercise using imperatives. We're, you are going to write five sentences using different imperatives. Okay. The, remember the examples that we already saw. I will give you um, three minutes. Just just five examples using imperatives. Como dijo, teacher. Five sentences, I mean five examples mm -hmm. using different imperatives. For example, here. 
if I if I tell you, um, turn off your microphone. That is one, right? Turn off your microphone. If I tell you, turn on your camera, okay? That is that is the, another one. You not. If you said if you if you tell this in alguien en su casa, turn off the light or turn off the light, okay? <laughs> or you can say close the door, open the door. Okay. Or you can say bring me water. Alguien que esté en su casa que quiere que le lleve agua, bring me water. Bring me the toilet paper. Okay. If you are in the bathroom and there is no toilet paper, you can say someone, read me the toilet paper. Okay. Um open the window, close the window. Uh-huh. Open the window, close the window. Um open your book, close your book. Your book. Mm -hmm. You can use also negative, okay? Don't smoke here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? Let me know when you are ready. <clears throat> okay, Manuel. Which one do you have? A start to work, finish the work. Open the window, close the window. Por eso es este aquí. Okay. Está pensando todavía. Okay. So start working, okay? Start working now. Uh-huh. Finish your work now. Okay. Close the window. Open the window. And uh-huh. Only that. Okay. Uh Evelyn.
Which one do you have? Is that mute? No puedo quitarle el mute. Um... Okay. Keep trying, okay? Hay de... Sigo lo intentando y me aviso cuando ya le quito el mute. Hay de... Give me your examples. Um, solo una hecha. Okay. Close the window y open the window. Mm -hmm. Solo eso, no le entendí mucho. Okay. Imperatives es cuando damos como una orden a alguien que haga algo. Son los ejemplos que tenemos aquí, que hemos estado viendo, todos estos. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Todos los que vimos aquí, todos los que vimos en este párrafo, en estas, en estos ejercicios, ¿ok? Ok. Um, try to think it another one, ¿ok? Brenda. Los que ya dijeron los compañeros, open the door, open the window, off the door, stand at the table, sleep before. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. Robert? Okay. Um, number one. Uh, I every day feed to my pet. Um, and the night to all, all lights. I talk with my friends. I don't eat candy in the night. I see. In, in, I brush my teeth before to go to sleep. Okay. Esas son como oraciones completas. Pero cuando decimos mm -hmm. como imperative, you can, we are talking about just like a, a brief phrase, okay? Una, una okay. frase corta que usted dice, okay? Brush, okay? brush your teeth. Okay, that is one. Talk with your okay. friend. Talk with your friend. That is the other one. Um, turn off the light. Uh -huh. That is the other one. Um, uh, yeah, teacher. <laughs> okay, Evelyn, thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, solo las, fra las frases cortas como de la acción de lo que vamos a hacer, okay? That, that are imperatives. Okay, Robert? Uh, okay, okay, okay. I understand. Okay, thank you. Uh, Evelyn? Uh -huh. Yo tengo, open your eyes, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Go to beach, turn on the light, drink your milk. The last one, can you please repeat? Drink your milk. Drink your milk. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Good examples. Thank you. Um, Sandra. Are you there, Sandra? Yes. Mm -hmm. solo, solo una tengo. Okay. <laughs> Este eh, buy, ay, pero vegetales, no sé cómo se dice. Buy vegetables. Buy vegetables for dinner. Okay. Okay, that is that is an example, yes. But try to try to think in other ones, okay? Así como en eso está bien, pero trate de pensar en otros ejemplos. Ok, sí, ahorita. Thank you, Sandra. Selina. Uh, 
Mm, escrito algunas, pero no sé si estarán buenas. Ok, tell me, tell Eh, me. War Rig Rig y War Leg. Vegetables. What do you mean? ¿Qué quiere decir? Eh, caminar a la derecha o caminar a la izquierda. Mm, ok. Walk Está at the bien. right, walk at the right, or walk at the left. Right? Walk on the right, walk on the left. Uh -huh. eh, la otra que escrito es about him. Down him. What do you mean? ¿Qué quiere decir? Manos arriba y manos abajo. <laughs> okay, raise, okay, raise your hand. Esa es la que decimos, okay? Raise your hand cuando levanta la mano. Raise. Raise. Abajo. Uh -huh. Y down. Down, ¿Qué significa down, entonces? Down, sí, sí, significa abajo, down, ok. Uh -huh. Pero cuando estamos diciendo baja tus manos, let me see if we can, let me verify if we can use that one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Eh, otra que escribí es... Eh? You can say, put your hands down. Yes, put, pero, pero ahí me voy a usar el verbo, ¿ok? Put your hands down, ¿ok? Voy a utilizar el verbo poner ahí. Put your hands down. Uh -huh. What is the other one, Selena? Um, sure the open and sure the close. Papá. Iglesia cerrada, iglesia abierta. <ríe> ¿Cómo? ¿Perdón? La iglesia cerrada y la iglesia abierta. Ajá. ¿Aplica o no aplica? Si dice primero el verbo, sí. Open, open the church and close the church. It's like a open the... Open the bank and close the bank. Okay. Mm -hmm. huh? Open the church. Open okay. the church. Mm -hmm. Open the church or close. Okay. Thank you, Salina. Stand out and sit down. Yes. La otra que escribí. That is okay. Stand out okay. and sit down. Yes, that are okay. Thank you. ¿A dónde vení, vení? Ok, Selena, very good. Uh, let me see, Janira. Sí, teacher. What are um, the ones that you have? Turn on the TV. Close the door, please. It, turn off the light. Oh, turn off the light. You can smart. Clean your room. Mm -hmm. Yes, I said, teacher, no sé cómo estarán. Very good. Yeah, they are okay. Thank you. Thank you, Yanira. Judith? Right. Sí, teacher. Yo hice unas, pero no sé si son así. Okay. Tour of the TV. And play another song. Mm -hmm. Call me song. Okay. And go play outside. Okay. Go play outside. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. Uh, Natalie? Ready to answer. Give me the book. Don't speak in class. Open the door. Close the door. Very good, Natalie. Thank you. Robert? Do you have others, others Robert? Las, las uh, modificó, las que usted tenía. Okay, America, no, are you there? Américo Rivas. Américo lo perdí. Griselda. Griselda. Ok, Karen tiene problemas de conexión. Ok, Sandra. Bueno, Griselda solo está de oyente, es ok. Uh, Sandra, do you have other ones? Do you have a different examples? Sandra? No, 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 no he terminado, aún no he hecho otra, todavía estoy pensando. Ok. Ahí ve, do you have other ones? I think. I did? Ahorita. Ok. Solo me dio una. Sí, lo sé. Um, I accept, I don't accept, turn off, turn on, stand up, sit down, open the door. Ma, y... aquí, aquí. Te amo. Sí, mamá. No. No sé si están buenos. Ok, pero cuando decimos turn off o turn on, tenemos que agregarle qué. Por ejemplo, turn off the TV, turn off the TV, turn off the light, turn off the light, um, turn off uh, the radio. Ok, we have to add, tenemos, le tenemos que agregar algo, ok, para darle como más sense, más sentido. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for your participation. Um, let me go to the next. Okay, now we're going to work in pairs. Oh, Manuel, do you have questions? Ya la terminé. Ajá. Tell me. Solo una pregunta. ¿Cómo se dice refrigerador? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Bueno. Refrigerator. Uh -huh. eh, era open the window, close the window, start to work, finish to work, get headdress, get in headdress, open refrigerator, close refrigerator, off the focus, on focus. Open the refrigerator and close the refrigerator. Okay. Sí. And okay. Last Las últimas. Off focus, on focus. Off focus and on focus. Yes. Mm. Pero ahí le falta algo. Eh. For example, focus on your class. Okay, enfoques en su clase. Focus on your class. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Tratemos de darle como más uh, sense, okay? Más sentido. Uh, but very good okay. job. Thank you so much. Yo ya terminé también, teacher. Okay, Sandra. Mm, no, Rocío, Isabel. Oh, Rocío. Sí. Go ahead, Rocío. Uh, close the door. Let's go play ball. No puedes estar haciendo ruido. 
quiet, please. No, no estoy viendo el video. Quiet. Uh -huh. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. Go to bed now. Go to school. Close the window. Open the window. Okay, thank you so much, Isabel. Very good. Okay, muy bien. I think that uh, it is okay. You learn a lot here. So now we are going to... Mm, okay, I will ask you. Le doy dos opciones. Una es que me, me van a traer esto de tarea. Me la van a traer para mañana. You van a trabajar en pareja. You will imagine that you are in, in your workplace giving instructions to one of your coworkers. Imagine that you are the boss. Imagínense que usted es el jefe. You will give instructions to your coworkers. You will assign a list of activities to do during the date. So we, in that case, we use the imperatives, okay? For example, if you told one of your uh, uh, co-workers, um, write, write a report, okay? Escriba mi reporte, es, okay? Clean, clean your work area. Limpia el área donde trabaja. Okay, that is the, the other one. Don't talk with your, your co-workers. No hable con sus compañeros. <laughs> Um, don't eat here. No coma aquí. No coma pupusas aquí. <laughs> okay. Um, another example that you may have. Okay. Por ejemplo, yo supongo que en su tra en su en su trabajo tienen como reglas. Uh -huh. So you can use mm -hmm. that one para hacer la conversación con su compañero. Okay. Para darle las instrucciones a su compañero. So, do you prefer to do it now? Lo quieren hacer ahorita? O will be like a homework, como tarea? Uh -huh. Como tarea, teacher. Como tarea, ok. Vamos a hacer homework, las parejas. Homework. Vamos a hacer las parejas ahorita. Y lo voy a dejar anotar. Por ejemplo, la conversación era un ejemplo, ok. Please send me the, this package. Yeah, mom, do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting right away. Give me one of those memo sticker, please. Sure, here you go. And look, please supervise the new interns. Okay, esos son um, instructions that you are giving to someone in your in the job, okay? So, take like a example of this dialogue and try to do Teacher. your dialogue, yes? Selena? Yeah. Le da instrucciones y también ella contesta o el contesta. En ese, en ese, así lo vamos a hacer. Así lo van a hacer. Van a darle instrucciones, la otra persona responde y también pide que se le haga a él también algo más. ¿Ok? Uh, ok. okay. Uh, Brenda, who do you want to work with? ¿Quién, ¿Con quién quiere trabajar? Con quien sea. Con quien sea. Pero dice trabajar? que eres con Griselda mejor. Vaya, pues, que con Griselda, ella juntas. ¿Griselda quiere trabajar con Brenda? No, va a decir. ¿Griselda? No. Griselda no la escucho. Ok. Supongamos que sí. Roberto. Cualquier, okay. ¿Le elijo a alguien o usted elige? Usted elige. Ok, Roberto con Evelyn. Ok, Sandra. ¿Elige o le elijo? 
Mm. Alguien del pedregal para hacerlo mañana en el almuerzo. Ajá. ¿Quién del pedregal? Alguien que diga yo. Ay. Vaya, Manuel, pues. Yo no conozco a nadie. ¿Manuel? ¿Usted? Yes, teacher. Ok, good. Thank you. Isabel. ¿Le parece bien con Aide? No, con Isabel también podía trabajar con cualquiera. <risa> ok, Isabel, ¿con quién? Eh, con Brenda, estaría bien. Como, Brenda. Ahí estamos en el mismo equipo casi. No, pero Brenda está con Griselda. Ah, pero a ver si no va a querer ella, Ticho. Ok, bueno, entonces Brenda con Isabel. Okay. ¿Está bien? Sí, está bien. Brenda con Isabel. Buscamos a alguien más a Griselda. Ahí está. Natalie. Griselda. Natalie. Eh, con Judith, teacher. Judith, ok. Américo. Xiomara. Xiomara. Xiomi. Sí, teacher. Usted con, Grise con Griselda está bien. No se escucha. Sí, sí, se escucha. Tengo mala conexión. Hoy sí, hoy sí. Sí. Griselda. Oh, ¿Con quién voy yo? No sé. ¿Con Griselda o con Selina? Con... Con, con Griselda. Ok, con Griselda. Bueno, le escribí a Griselda porque no me contesta Griselda ahorita. Ok. No sé quién es Griselda. Griselda Velázquez. No, nunca la veo aquí. La cuele. Ok. Celina. ¿Y quién es Yanira? Hola, Ticha. Celina, ok, Yanira. ¿Me escucha, Yanira? Yes, teacher. Ok, Celina con Yanira. Ok. Ok. Ahí estamos. Ok, good. Uh, for tomorrow, please try to... Try to bring it ready. Si no lo tiene listo, mañana le doy más tiempo para que lo, lo termine. Try to bring ideas, okay, about what you are going to do. Perfect. Which uh, conversation you are going to have with your classmate. Okay. So now we're going to work in the material. Vamos a trabajar en el material, en el material que tenemos y luego faltando unos seis, siete minutos vamos a trabajar en la actividad siete. Eso es lo que tengo para ahorita. Y quiero ver, a alguien me faltaba de mandar su párrafo. Yo ya se lo envié, teacher. Ok, Isabel. Sí, ayer se lo envié en la noche. ¿Le puso nombre? Mm, creo que no, pero era sobre Brenda. Brenda's daily routines here, okay? She gets up at 4 a.m. in the morning and cooks her lunch at 4, uh, 4 10 a.m. Wow, esa hora cocina. Then she takes a shower and gets ready at 4.50 a.m. and leaves her house at 5 20 a.m. to take the bus. She has breakfast at the cafeteria at 6.20 a.m. Then she arrives at, at her work area at 7.05 a.m. She, 
She takes, aquí le faltó la S. She takes a break at 9 a.m. in the morning. Then she has lunch at 1.15 p.m. She returns to her work at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Finally, uh -huh, she, she returns home at 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay, very good. Solo esos dos errorcitos de spelling, okay? Sí. That was excellent. Thank you. Okay. Um, we're going to work now on the material. If you have the material, you can open it. Let me open that. Mm. Okay, we're going to start from unit two. When we start about um, using frequency ad adverbs, do you remember how often, often, usually, always? Okay, who wants to read this conversation? ¿Alguien quiere leerme la conversación? Okay, two volunteers. Okay, Evelyn, who else? King Mas and Brenda, okay. Evelyn, you will be John and Brenda will be Anne. Go ahead. How often do you ship your emails? Every two hours. Every two hours and you? Well, I try to ship it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often tell, tell the um, one a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday, Friday. Friday, did you check the order? Did you call claims? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe is I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Clients. Right. That. Do you call your, your do you call clients? You are right. Mm -hmm. Do you call you right. your, your clients? Clients. Clients. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Questions about that? Preguntas? Oh, um... No? Okay, we're going to move on. How often does Anne check her email? How often? Every two Every two hours. All day. Mm -hmm. Every two hours. Anna, 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 check. Anna shares her email every two to hours. Hours. Why is it important to check the email every day? Why? Por qué es importante? Because 
Mm -hmm. why, why do you think that is important to check the email every day? It is important because uh -huh. Por qué? Think. Por qué es importante chequear el email every day? Call the claims. Because we keep updated, actualizado de todos los correos, ¿verdad? Ok, una vez yo perdí una cita importante porque no chequeé mi email. <laughs> oh, that was really sad. Ok. Yo ni siquiera recuerdo las contraseñas de mis emails. Ah. <laughs> Mi hijo me ahorca por eso. Ay, yes. Ok. Now, do you remember the frequency adverse to say that how frequently activities happen? Who wants to read this? Who wants to read just the examples? A ver, volunteers. It is like a review. Do you remember? We already checked this. Ya vimos esto ayer, but we are doing a review now. Sandra, do you want to check? Do you want to read? Perdón, perdón, me perdí un rato, dígame. Okay. Please um, read the sentences that we have here. El Read the sentences from here. I always get up until I never get up late work. I never get Ah, que lo lea todo, me dice. Yes. Uh, I always get up at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. Get up at five o'clock. He usually drives to work. She normally check her email. I often have breakfast at work. She sometimes uses the micro. ¿Cómo se micro dice? microwave. Microwave. I occasionally Work overtime. We seldom kai kai at work. He really has conference. I never get late to work. I uh -huh. I never get late to work. I never get late to work. Mm -hmm. uh, we rarely has conferences. No, sorry. He rarely has conferences. He rarely has conference. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Very good. We I occasionally work overtime. Overtime means a tiempo extra. Okay. Overtime. Overtime. Mm -hmm. Overtime. Overtime. Like a extra hours. Okay. That is the overtime. Overtime. Okay, very good. Questions about this? He usually tries to work. She normally checks her email. I often have breakfast at work. She sometimes uses it in microwave. Sometimes. Sometimes. She sometimes uses it in microwave. I occasionally work every time. Mm -hmm. We still don't take health at work. Mm -hmm. 
He rarely has conference. I never get late to work. Okay, very good. Muy bien. So if you don't have questions, we're going to move on. Okay, I want that you think an activities that you do always, often, sometimes, and hardly ever and never. <clears throat> Okay, uh, try to think in one activity that you do always, <coughs> other one that you often do, sometimes, hardly ever, and never, okay? Piensen en, en cinco ejemplos, usando esas, esas adverbs of frequency. I, I, I always get up, find a club. Okay, I always get up at five o'clock. Okay, uh, often. Someone we have that has one with often. A menudo, okay. Remember that is a menudo. No siempre, pero a menudo. Mm, podemos expresar como um, I, I often. often. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead, Tamara. Uh -huh. I often ¿Quién era la persona que quería opinar? Rocío Rocío era Ok, sí. Rocío, go ahead, sorry I often exercise in the morning Ajá, uh -huh. muy bien. Not always, but often. I often exercise in the morning. Another example with sometimes. Yes. El único ejercicio que hago es correr todos los días, pero para el oficio. Ajá. Uh -huh. I sometimes. I sometimes. <laughs> Uh, go running. Go running. Sometimes, okay. Yes, sometimes, teacher. A veces. Ah, okay. Hardly ever. Casi nunca. Pero. I hardly ever go to buy on Saturday. Go to. Buy on Saturday. Buy, like uh, to the supermarket? Yeah. Sí. Okay, I hardly ever go to the supermarket on Saturday. Never? Algo que usted nunca hace. I never, um, <laughs> teach I never go to the gym. <laughs> okay, I never go to the gym. Me inscribo y nunca voy. It happens. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> okay, very good examples. Thank you so much. Okay, how often do you have meetings? How often do you exercise? That will be another example. How often do you, give me another example.
go to the cinema. How often do you go shopping? Give me another example here. How often do you? How often do you sing? Think in the shower. Every day? Or alguna vez? Never, never. Never. How often do you? Do you swim? Swim? In the river? Do you swim in a river? <laughs> okay. Those are the examples that we can use like a how often, okay? Here is just to include the names. So, por ejemplo, si yo los entrevisto a ustedes y aquí escribo el, no, el, el nombre. Y, for example, how often do you have meetings? Every day. I have meetings every day. Okay, how often do you exercise? Brenda, she said never. <clears throat> uh -huh. And so on, right? Puedo hacer así como una entrevista, pero we're going to move on porque no tenemos mucho tiempo. Okay. <clears throat> Robert, do you have questions? No, 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 no. No questions. Okay, here we have the example, the 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 um conversation that we have today. Like I tell you that you can take this as an example to do your conversation. There you have it in the material. Mm -hmm. Here we have commands. Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please super, supervise the employees. Please go to the meeting, okay? Commands. So you can use this one also in the conversation that you're going to have to have for tomorrow, okay? Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please supervise the employees. Please go to the meeting. Please turn six in for your classmate both need to do tomorrow. Okay, so you're going to include that in the conversation. What you what do you know do you need to do? Okay. Let me see what else do we have here. Oh, okay. We have here like uh Reading about Mr. Wilson, check the correct sentences and the, and the incorrect ones, the wrong ones. Okay, vamos a identificar si tiene alguna, alguna oración incorrecta o si todas están correctas. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am a human resources manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to the potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we had to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Mm -hmm. 
Who wants to read the, the, the paragraph? Someone else who wants to read it? His name is John Will. His name is John Will now. No, no. No. His name is John Wilson. Mm -hmm. sí. Aquí sale primero, right? His name is John Wilson. John Wilson. His name is His name is John Wilson. Is not Wilkins, right? He writes reports every day. No. No. Yes. No. 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 I always answer this. Oh, no. Answer. He always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. He write reports every day. He writes. He didn't, he don't, he, I mean, he doesn't, right? He doesn't write reports. Is that correct? He does not. He does not a report. Report. He, he does not. Every day. Okay, he never answered the phone and talked to customers. No. He employees customers. always answered the phone. He always esa sería la información correcta. Answer the phone. En todo. En Bueno, ahí ya. Sabemos lo que sigue. En talk with employees, potential employees. He often attend meetings in the morning. Is that true? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I attend meetings in the morning, in the morning. and also often in the afternoon. Uh -huh. Okay, yes. Pongámosle yes, que sí está bien esta. Uh -huh. He never attends meeting in the afternoon. Never. Yeah. Uh -huh. He. Uh -huh. Sorry. So often in the afternoon, and not so often in the afternoon. Mm, but he has said hardly, hardly ever. Attend meetings in the afternoon. Casi nunca, pero puede ser que alguna vez. He usually has events in his company. Yes. It's my company. Mm -hmm. We always have events. Yeah. He has got to the conference on July 22nd. Mm -hmm. July. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we're going to continue, but we're going to stop here. Llegamos hasta la página. Twenty-four. It's okay. Thank. You. Okay. Well, now we're going to move on to the activity number seven, homework number seven. Okay, open the platform. This is the number seven. 
Instructions. Complete the following commands using the verse below. Supervise, write, check, send, and call. What will be the correct? Supervise. Send the person check. Supervise. Supervise the potential customers, call the potential customers, or check. Potential customers are the one that maybe will be the customers in the future. Call. 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 Mm -hmm. Send or call or supervise memos to the office personnel. Same. 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 Call, send, or check the report. Check the report. Check, check the report. Send, write, or check a letter. Use blue ink. Right. Check. Right. Right. Use blue ink. Está diciendo que use tinta azul. Ink means la, la tinta. White level. You see, blue. Okay, we send it. Yeah. Excellent. All of them are good. Good. Okay. We, if you are here, you are good. Okay. Todos estamos hasta aquí. Estamos muy bien. Um. Todos tienen acceso a la plataforma. Nadie, nadie no, um, tiene problemas, ¿verdad? No. Uh -huh. Ok. Yo ayer envié las notas que tenía. Hasta ayer. Everything is good. Okay, let me see. Uh, this Friday, este, este, este jueves, we're going to do we're going to take the exam, okay? Vamos a hacer el examen este jueves. Take these two minutes. Tómense estos dos minutos para terminar y hacer el ejercicio. If you have questions, please let me know. Tienen preguntas, por favor, me dicen. ¿Cuál ejercicio te hizo? La tarea 7. Si usted no la ha hecho ahorita, hágala. Si no la ha hecho, no, no la hizo conmigo, la podía hacer en estos dos minutos que faltan. Ok, muy bien. Veo que la mayoría la ha hecho y algunos ya van, ya, ya terminaron lo de la semana 2. Ok, vamos muy bien. Congratulations, everyone. On Friday, we're going to do the meter exam, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So if you don't have questions, that is everything. Uh, thank you so much for for your time, your attendance today. Have a good night and see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Okay? Good night, teacher. Have a good night. <laughs> Good night, guys. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, friends. Good night. I'll see you too later, Rocio. Mm -hmm. Thank you.